Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my current favorite products. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, so I do have a collection of products that I've been really enjoying lately. Um, I have, I guess they're all beauty related except one, um, so we'll just go ahead and start with that one. Okay, so the first one is um, a protein powder that I've been using for a while now. Um, it's the Great Lakes Gelatin Collagen um, Protein. So I got this I don't know, actually sometime last year because I was really into making bulletproof coffee. So it's coffee where you add grass-fed butter to it, um, which sounds gross, but it's actually pretty good and it's um, good for you. I saw a nutritionist last year because I was just like, it, I was finding it so hard for me to um, control my nighttime cravings. Like I would do really well throughout the day as far as like eating healthy and making healthy choices. And then at night I would just like snack on anything that I could find. And it was like uncontrollable. Like I could not, I, I don't know what was going on. So I knew that I was lacking something in my diet that was causing me to fill those urges every night. And my nutritionist realized that I wasn't having, I wasn't eating enough like healthy fats throughout the day. So she turned me on to drinking bulletproof coffee in the morning to add that healthy fat from the grass fed butter. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. But another um, way I started preparing my coffee was adding this to it. Um, it's a hot or cold liquid soluble, so it will um, dissolve in like hot beverages. Um, but I'm not. I'm currently not taking drinking the bulletproof coffee anymore. Um, I still enjoy it, but I don't have it every morning like I used to. So I'm using this just in protein shakes. I actually am drinking one right now. Um, so I just use it with almond milk and half a banana and almond butter. Um, this one does not have a taste to it, so this is not vanilla flavored or anything. Um, so you do need to sweeten it if you like a sweeter protein. Um, but if you're using it for coffee, it's obviously great because um, you can just kind of blend it in. It's just going to add that protein in with your coffee. Um, and it's great for joint care. So I am finding that as I get older, <laughs> Uh, I can't really treat my body the way I did 10 years ago um, and so I'm noticing like more aches and pains in, in my knees and things like that so hopefully this is gonna help if I drink it on a daily basis my my hope is that it's gonna I'll, I'll like feel an improvement there so anyway I really like this I will link this down below um, but yeah this is something I've been enjoying so it has 43 calories um, and 11 grams of protein for two rounded tablespoons which is what I use so pretty low calorie and pretty decent size amount of protein it's not like a high protein 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 powder um, but it's good to just kind of supplement and get that added protein into your diet so next let's talk about two eyeshadow palettes that I've been really enjoying um, the first is by uh, Viseart, Viseart, I think it's Viseart, I might be saying it wrong, but one of those two has to be right. Um, I have the neutral matte palette. So I actually purchased the cool matte one online um, and I loved it. Um, but I, when I received it, the, the like the dark like indigo blue shade was kind of broken and it just started to like slowly deteriorate and break more and break more so I returned it and I thought I was going to enjoy the uh, warm matte more. I do like this neutral matte one but I think that I like the neutral cool one even better um, but the quality of these eyeshadows are um, really 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 good. They have a lot of pigment. They're really easy to blend. Um, I'm wearing this palette right now. This is all that I have on my eyes. Um, this is a great palette if you don't own a palette that already has a lot of neutral warm shades to it. Um, they actually have a neutral warm palette. This is the neutral matte palette. Um, they have a, they have a, what am I trying to say? They have a, they just came out with like a warm palette. In my opinion, this is pretty warm, but the cool one I really liked a lot. And I like this one too, but I do have a lot of shades already like this, but the quality of this palette is really, really good. Um, it retails for $80 on Sephora's website. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this palette a lot. The next palette is by my favorite YouTuber, Sona. Um, she came out with her Persona palette, um, I think it was in December of last year, and I ordered it, and I absolutely love this palette. Um, it has a good mix of shimmer and matte shades. The pigment payoff is really, um, really good quality. Um, they blend really easily. I feel like she chose a really great selection of shadows. You do have some warms, you do have some cools, and just really flattering neutral colors. Colors that will look good on any skin tone um, for any occasion. Uh, just a very easy wearable palette. I really, really like this palette a lot. I actually filmed a video using this palette, but when I uploaded the footage, it was um, the file was corrupt. Anyway, I need to refilm that video because I have been enjoying this a lot, and I do want to show you guys 
um, a look with this. If you're not familiar with Sona's channel, uh, she's one of my favorites. I just think she is, she's so beautiful, so well-spoken. She's very talented. Um, and her, the quality of her videos are, they're just really entertaining to watch. You know, she does a really, really great job with editing her videos. And, um, I just, I love watching her videos. So I will link her channel below. I'm sure you've heard about her, but if not, I will link it down below. Okay. So the next are some eye uh, mask patches that I've been wearing. Um, I received these like months and months and months ago um and i just got around to using them this month um it's by v2 the oxygen mask um eye mask for all night so you i actually put these on before i go to bed and i sleep in them um it says not to exceed eight hours but um unfortunately i don't ever exceed eight hours of sleep these days um but they uh so my experience with these masks, so they come in a little package like this. I guess I can open one and show you guys. I'm not going to take them off because I want to use these, but, oh no, this one kind of slid. So they come in a little mask, in a little pouch like this, and you peel off um, this little paper and you stick them on your eyes. Uh, they feel instantly pretty cooling. Like, that's my favorite My favorite benefit of these is the way that they make your eyes feel. It feels really cooling. They're not real sticky. They don't slip around. Um, they're not like like dripping with product like some other masks. I noticed when I use sheet masks, I feel like it's hard to, they're hard to stay on my face because they're kind of just um, falling off my face because they're saturated in product. This is not. They, these stick and stay in place really well. They do feel pretty good quality. Um, and then I sleep with them. And I actually, the first night I put them too close to my lash line and they did kind of bother me. But then I just kind of shifted them down the next several nights that I wore them and they were really comfortable to sleep in. Um, and then I woke up and, and peeled them off. Um, they're supposed to help with puffiness and dark circles. To be quite honest, I didn't notice a huge improvement. Like it wasn't like a wow improvement. Um, I really liked the way they felt. And you are supposed to use like a couple of boxes of these. I think to get the optimal results and I had only used them for like four nights so I'm sure that if I had continued to use them I probably would have seen better results in terms of you know the before and after but I can't say enough about how great these feel they just feel really really nice um, under the eyes very cooling you can feel that you're doing something good for your under eye area so um, the next product is the Garnier skin active micellar water these have been real popular I've seen them um, you know around the grocery store and I even think I've seen them in Sephora they've been coming a big thing and I really wasn't sure what they were um, but basically it's a makeup remover um, that you don't have to rinse off so it basically removes and cleanses your skin and there's no need to rinse your skin afterwards um, this one is uh, I picked this one up because it says it even removes waterproof makeup um, and there's no alcohol no oil or no fragrance in it it's really really gentle it, to me it looks like there's oil in here I don't know if you can see but it says there's no oil so it does feel to me like there's an oil in it which I like um, because I feel like nothing really removes heavy eye makeup than oil but this one supposedly has no oil which I'm gonna believe because they would put it on the label if it weren't true um, but uh, you don't need to rinse it so it doesn't leave your skin really oily it doesn't leave this oil residue on your skin so there's not really that need to like rinse your skin afterwards I actually um, use this on like a cotton swab to remove my makeup and then I do go in and wash my face after supposedly it cleanses your skin but I feel the need to really like use a mask and extract all that stuff that's on my makeup and pollutants from the air. I just feel like I need something a little heavier duty. But on days that I don't have a lot of time, you know, I could just use this. But I do like it. It's really easy and effortless. I just, I had a full face of makeup on and I just used two cotton swabs and I removed everything. I'm talking like full coverage foundation, mascara, all of it. So I was pretty impressed with that. The next thing is um, a product that I've been wanting to try for a really long time. I think Wayne Goss talked about this product on his channel. Someone talked about this on their channel and I had been dying to try it. It's by Jane Aradell. It's the Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. Um, so I had tried some of her products and I've always been really impressed with the quality of her products. It's a mineral line um, and I... Like, I find this to be sold mostly in, like, smaller boutiques. So there's a store here in Austin that sells it. I actually was in Canada for my friend's wedding, and they were sell they sold this in the salon that um, was in the hotel. So uh, it was kind of expensive. I didn't realize how much it was. I was just going to grab this in one eyeshadow, and when I went to check out, it was, like, $90. I was like, whoa. Um, but maybe that was Canada. Anyway, um, it, it is not an inexpensive product. Uh, but this has an SPF of 25. So it is a full coverage BB cream. And actually, the makeup artist that did makeup for the wedding party for my friend's wedding used this in her kit. So um, it offers really, really great coverage. 
I think the best thing to compare it to for me is the IT Cosmetics CC Cream because that's my other favorite like BB CC Cream foundation. Um, and I love that one because of the coverage that it offers. This offers similar coverage. I think the finish is a little different. Um, I think this gives more of a glow than the IT Cosmetics. The IT Cosmetics isn't matte, but it's not as glowy as this. Um, it's still beautiful, but it's more of like a really natural kind of kind of glow where this will give more luminosity to the skin um but yeah i really enjoy this i am the color what color am i um why is it so hard to find the colors on these i number five i'm number five so i'm going to read you the back of this because i don't want to miss any of the benefits so all natural minerals adjust to unique skin tone to cover blemishes minimize the appearance of pores and wrinkles and smooth and brighten skin Glow Time nourishes your complexion and protects from UV and free radical damage, the SPF. Anti-aging ingredients help control oil and minimize environmental damage. So, um, yeah, and I just use this with my fingers to apply it. It's really easy to apply. And then I'll go over with a beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, just to around the perimeter of my face and my jawline just to kind of absorb any excess product and prevent any lines that might be there if I don't. Um, okay, the next product is by Rodan and Fields, and it's Lash Boost. If you're on Facebook, you probably have seen this a lot. You probably have a lot of friends that sell Rodan and Fields, and you probably see this all over your news feed. I know I do. Um, this recently launched a couple of months ago, and you know, you guys know that I was always a big fan of the Nutrilux um, Lash Serum. I had I did a, did a video on that last year or maybe the year before, um, and I really like that serum. I will say that I do really like that serum. Um, I love this one. This is my new favorite because. Uh, I think that it works quicker than the Nutrilux does. Um, it is more expensive. The Nutrilux is maybe like half, a, like this is a little more than double the price of the Nutrilux. Um, but I noticed that this works really fast. Like, so I had lash extensions and then I had them removed. Maybe it was in December. December is kind of one of the last fill that I got and my lashes are so weak and so brittle and so thin that um, Lash extensions that when I remove them I have to like go through this period to regrow them because they're um, They're in pretty bad shape right after I get lash extensions because my natural lashes are so thin um, So anytime I let go of my lash extensions, I know there's gonna be that couple of months that I'm really having to have to um, you know could take care of my lashes to get them back to where I want them to be. Um, so I was expecting it to take a couple of months, but I would say within four weeks of using this, I started noticing my lashes were thicker and stronger and longer. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of this. I use it every single night. Uh, I just use one swipe. I was using it on my brows a little bit, but I wasn't super consistent with it. So I can't really attest to how it works on brows, but I have seen people that have used it on brows and it looks like it works great. Um, it comes in a little tube like this. Um, yeah, and I just use this every night, just put it right over, not on top of the hair actually, but on the skin. So basically where you'd put your eyeliner. Um, but yeah, Lash Boost is awesome. If you have a friend or know a consultant that sells it, um, you obviously can get it through them. Um, I will link my Rodan and Fields link below because some of you guys know that I am a Rodan and Fields consultant. Um, if you have questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll help you, but yeah. Okay, the next product is um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. Um, this is a newer product that I recently picked up. I am in the shade Caramel. Is that what, what shade I got? Caramel. Why don't the people put the names on here? Like, they put it on the box, but then you throw the box away. Darn. Okay, I think I'm Caramel. I'm pretty sure I'm Caramel. Um, but I'm using this right now. It's just a beautiful, beautiful brown with, like, a lot of gold kind of honey sparkle to it. I was concerned that it was going to be too metallic or frosty, but it actually works well with me. I use the medium brown, um, not the brow whiz, but the brow, brow pencil, the brow definer. That's what I use, which is a lot darker than this. And then I go over it with this to kind of complement the highlights in my hair. Um, this also keeps my brows in place, even though I don't have thick brows, the hairs that I do have are long. Um, so this kind of just combs them and keeps them in place and kind of plays with the highlights in my hair. So I really, really like this gel a lot. Um, I was using the clear gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I like that one too if you um, don't want any color, obviously. I like this one because I it, I feel like it adds more volume. The clear one just kind of works as a hairspray for your brows. I feel like this one like styles them, keeps them in place, but also adds a little bit of volume. So if this is all that you want to wear and you have um, really like faint, subtle brows, this is going to kind of give you a little bit more color, but a very natural way. If you want to fill in your brows, but you want something really natural, just your natural brow but enhanced, this would be great alone. If you um, want to, like me, just kind of keep them in place after you've filled them in, then this is really great. 
Okay, this might be my favorite product to talk about, my absolute favorite product to talk about. I um, I have been on the hunt for a good deodorant for a while now, and I had really been on the hunt for a good natural deodorant for a while now, but I, um, I could not find anything that worked for me. Um, I, I don't know what it is. I mean, this may be a little embarrassing to share, but maybe it's hormones or what, but I was just feeling like the last six months I have had trouble finding a good deodorant that works. The deodorant that I loved and worked forever just stopped working. And anyway, um, and, and I kind of given up on natural deodorants because I thought that, that none of them worked. Anyway, a friend of mine posted on Facebook that Milk and Honey, which is a salon here in Austin, I don't know if they're outside of Austin, I know they started in Austin, but anyway, they have a um, this natural deodorant, it's, it's the Milk and Honey Cream Deodorant Coconut Vanilla. This stuff is awesome. I cannot say enough great things about this. Um, so it doesn't have aluminum in it, um, so it's not an antiperspirant, it's just a deodorant. It has the best of smell, it smells like coconut is really what it smells like, but it's not overpowering. It's very, very subtle, very subtle coconut. Oh, it smells so good, but it comes in a little jar like this. I do scoop out about a pea size amount. I rub it between my fingers and I put it underneath my arms when I get out of the shower. And I'm telling you, I've been wearing this for a couple of weeks now and I have yet, I have not had any problems one day. Um, granted, it's not summertime here in Texas, but it is still pretty warm. I mean, it's it reached almost 80 degrees the other day, so it's not like it's winter, like it might be for some of you guys where you guys are at. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't say enough great things about this. I have told everyone I love about this deodorant um, because I just think that everyone needs to, to try this. Um, you can get it on Amazon. You could probably call the salon here in Austin and have them mail it to you, but it's awesome. I know Whole Foods here sells it. I don't know if they sell it in their other stores, but they do carry it here in Austin. Okay, I'm gonna go through the others really quickly because I'm rambling. Um, the next is a lipstick by Matte, and it's an oldie but a goodie. It's kind of sexy, that's the name of the lip color, and it's a matte lip color, um, and I actually have it on right now. Uh, I just threw this on the other day, um, and I love it. It's just the most pretty, like, neutral, pinky, peach, matte shade. Um, it's not too much of one, so it's not too pink, it's not too peach. I feel like it gives the lips just a, a little bit of fullness. It's just pretty sexy, which is the name, kind of sexy. Um, but yeah, I love it. The next lip product is by Too Faced, and um, it's the Sweet Peach Creamy Lip Oil. So I, at first I didn't know how I felt about it. It has a really strong fragrance. It smells like it has their signature peach fragrance, um, which smells good, but it's really strong. You're either gonna love it or you hate it. Um, I, well, I can't say that because I don't really love this fragrance, but I don't really hate it either. So scratch that. Uh, but it's a strong fragrance. So if you're one of those people that can't get past like really sweet fragrances, this is probably not for you because it is on your lips and you are going to smell it. Um, and you're going to taste it too. But I love this color. They have a few of different shades and I picked out the one in Peach Please because I just felt like it was the most pretty pinky peach. Um, but it's very sheer. It does have some color, but it does sheer out pretty quickly. So it's not something where the color is going to last all day, but it is great if you like, I like to use this on top of lipsticks. I actually have it on top of this matte today or, um, by itself. So if I have very little makeup on and I just want my lips to have a little color and shine and hydration, this is really, really great. I use, I've been keeping this in my uh, gym bag and using this. Okay, the next product is Charlotte Tilbury, uh, the Full Fat Lashes. I've been wanting to try this for a long time, but I love the Chanel La Volume Mascara. I've talked about that. That's my all-time favorite. Um, so I hesitated buying this because I already have a mascara that I absolutely love, um, but I am glad I did because I do like it. I have it on today. I have it on top of the Dior Show Maximizing Primer. Um, this is a great mascara. I don't know that I love it more than the Chanel La Volume, but it is a great mascara. If for some reason you find that the Chanel volume is too thickening, this would be a good option because it does give your your lashes a lot of volume and thickness, but I don't, I don't think it's as thick as the Chanel. Um, but yeah, I really love it. I want to try more of Charlotte Tilbury's products, but I kind of want to ease my way into them. Um, yeah. Okay, the last thing that I have is a hair accessory. So I love to wear my hair in a ponytail. I don't like having my hair down. I always have it up as much as I can, but you know you kind of lose a little style when your hair is always in a ponytail. But at Nordstrom, I found this really cute little ponytail holder. Um, so basically you put your hair in a ponytail and then you wrap this around your ponytail. So this is what you see, you know, this is like this little gold like accessory is what you see around your ponytail. And I love this. I think it's the cutest way to wear a ponytail. So I will find this on their website or find something similar to this and I will link it below, but I have been loving this. I can put my whole hair in 
I can put like a full ponytail or I can just put kind of half of it up. But um, yeah, I'm, I want to get more into hair accessories. So if you have hair accessories that you love, link them down below for me because that's one area that I feel like I need to step it up because I kind of just do the same thing with my hair all the time. I'm thinking about going a little darker. I have a hair appointment this weekend and I'm considering going darker because keeping up with this is um, a lot of maintenance and I want something that I don't have to... Uh, that I can kind of let go a little longer. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite products are down below. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.